Known for being one of the most versatile Hollywood actors ever, Patrick Swayze was recognized for his many distinctive lead roles in more than 25 feature films. Diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2008, he fought the disease with great courage before passing in September of 2009. Receiving many award nominations for his performances, Swayze left us with a great legacy of movies that we can all look back fondly on. In today's list, we are taking a look at the top 10 Patrick Swayze movies of all time. You need all the luck you can get. Oh! <laughs> gonna be a fireman when he grows up. <laughs> Number 10, Next of Kin. I don't want you, Lawrence. You know who I want. I want the man who pulled the trigger. I want the man you saw do it. Patrick stars as Truman Gates in this intelligently made and underrated 1989 American action thriller film directed by John Irvin. Truman is a Chicago cop that is on a mission to find out who killed his brother, but another brother of his attempts to find the killer himself only in a way that results in retaliation. When things go wrong, Truman finds himself doing whatever he has to do for him and his family. The intriguing story of the movie, its personality, and action-packed scenes make it an entertaining watch. Sweezy's character is particularly known for being a solid, low-key addition. Some of the scenes were filmed in the small Perry County in a Kentucky coal camp of Hardburley. The film earned a Razzie Award nomination for Sweezy's performance as Worst Actor, although the film has since become a cult classic. I think I ask myself ten, a hundred times a day what I could have done to stop it. You tell me what I could have done. Number nine, Youngblood. I don't need you to pass me the goddamn puck. I made 91 goals this year before you showed up. In this 1986 American drama sports film, Swayze portrays the role of Derek Sutton. The film was directed, co-produced, and co-written by Peter Markle, and also stars Rob Lowe as Swayze's on-screen friend. When Derek meets Dean Youngblood, him and the others treat him poorly because he lacks toughness. After seeing how good he plays hockey, they have a change of heart. The film is about hockey players trying to impress scouts from the National Hockey League. Derek and Dean develop a friendship, and even though Derek ends up in a situation, he is the one who acts as a mentor and convinces Dean to get back out and play. The film is a great slice of the 80s and is filled with engaging characters, action, and a final showdown that brings it all to an end. Good game! Getting out of this hick town. Thank God there is still a sport for middle-sized white boys. Number eight, Red Dawn. Matt and I have been coming up in these mountains with our dad all of our lives. We can hunt, we can fish, we can stay up here a long, long time. This American action film was released in 1984, and it is known for being the first film to be released in the U.S. with a PG-13 rating after the new modified movie rating system was introduced in the same year. Swayze stars as Jed Eckert, the big brother of Charlie Sheen's character, Matt. Set in an alternate 1980s, Soviet soldiers invade a small town, and the two brothers make an escape to the forest before they find themselves having to fight for their town. The film went on to be described as the most violent movie ever made after its release in 1984. The National Coalition on Television Violence noted it contained 134 acts of violence an hour, so they rated it X. The director of the film, John Milius, put Swayze in charge of the cast since he was older and had more acting experience than them after stating, Swayze, you're my lieutenant. You want blindfolds? It's by the Geneva Convention. I never heard of it. Dog face. I show you how Soviet dies. Number seven, City of Joy. You're so goddamn self-righteous. You know, I don't even feel good about what we did down there today. Bringing in another little mouth to feed in a cesspool of a country. Real good. Max Lowe is the name of Swayze's character in this 1992 drama movie. The film is based on a novel of the same name, written by Dominique Lapierre, and takes a deeper look at poverty in then-modern India, more specifically, life in the slums. Max Lowe is a Texan surgeon that has arrived in search of spiritual enlightenments, but things begin to go south the very moment of his arrival. Max soon plunges into his new life, his medical training is desperately needed where he is now. The film is known to be inspiring as the audience watches the story of an American doctor, a British nurse, and an Indian farmer joining forces. The film, however, was not a box office success. The interesting elements to the movie are what made it unique and eye-catching to some viewers, even though it was never highly rated. You have any dyes of pan? No. You have anything at this clinic? Morphine? Anything? No, nothing. I need a stethoscope, a suturing kit, a thermometer. Number six, Roadhouse. 5000 up front, 500 a night, cash. You pay all medical expenses. Swayze plays James Dalton, a bouncer with a PhD, in this 1989 American action film. 
Dalton, from New York City, finds himself in a club in Missouri as a professional cooler, otherwise known as security. The name of the club is Double Deuce, and it is known for being the loudest and rowdiest bar around. Dalton must clean it up and get things in order. Luckily, he happens to be an expert in martial arts and one of the best bouncers in the business. Action, violence, and romance ensues. Everyone in the movie did their own stunts while filming. Swayze's powerful character makes for an excellent performance, and he also got to bring his singing talents to this film as well. Swayze sings Cliff's Edge and Raising Heaven in Hell Tonight in the film's soundtrack. Number 5. Keeping Mum Of course. <laughs> I mean, walking distance. I mean, seconds. The best hotels are on the beach, Lance. Oh, yeah, this is so much better than a hotel. In this 2005 British black comedy film, Swayze portrays an instructor named Lance. The film has all the edge and wit one expects from the genre of British dark comedy and features a great cast. In the film, Lance is an American golf pro that is giving Gloria, Walter's wife, private lessons. Walter's family already has its own set of current issues, but he is too detached to notice anything. Gloria falls for Lance's advances due to being desperate for affection, and all of the problems of the family begin to accumulate. Grace, the new housekeeper, arrives, and these issues begin to resolve as she comes to learn about them. The best parts of the film portray a Mary Poppins-style story when a good-hearted, yet lost family is set straight by their nanny. A girl? I don't know any girls. I got it. I'll just take it off. No, no, keep it on. Number 4. Dirty Dancing Now, the most important thing to remember in lifts is balance. This classic romantic drama dance film was released in 1987. Sweezy portrays the role of a dance instructor named Johnny Castle. Another character, Baby, becomes infatuated with him, but Johnny is a man who has a vastly different background from her. Sweezy had to convince the actress of Baby, Jennifer Grey, to be in the film because she had disliked him so much while filming the movie Red Dawn together. The two were made to watch their screen tests that showed them what breathtaking chemistry they had, and they returned to filming with renewed energy and enthusiasm. The film was written by Eleanor Bergstein and is loosely based on her own childhood. After its premiere, the film earned over $214 million worldwide. It was interestingly the first film to sell more than 1 million copies for home video and is commonly known for its soundtrack. The film earned Swayze a Golden Globe nomination for Best Performance in a Musical or Comedy. Number 3. The Outsiders Movies and books. You know, I, I, I wish that, that you could concentrate on something else just once in a while. In this 1983 coming-of-age drama, Swayze plays Derry Curtis. This film is particularly known for its cast of up-and-coming stars, a few alongside Swayze being Rob Lowe, Matt Dillon, and Tom Cruise. The movie helped spark what is known as the Brat Pack genre of the 1980s. The film is about a teen gang in rural Oklahoma called The Greasers. They are at odds with the socials, their rival group. The group eventually ends up having to contend with the consequences of their violent lives. This film is an adaptation of the 1967 novel The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. It is thought to be a weird yet fun adaptation of the classic novel, and it conveys a realistic portrayal of poor teenagers and how young people act and experience the world. Man, that's one kid, brother, I ain't gotta worry about. It. This kid can use his head, at least for one thing, to grow hair on. Number 2, 1114. I do not trust that guy. So you said. Look at me. Patrick Swayze plays Frank in this neo-noir black comedy thriller released in 2003. The film follows five different storylines that all lead up to a series of events that happen one evening at the same time, 1114. These twisting series of storylines widely range from one to the other, but all run parallel in time before happening at the same moment. The film depicts a unique form of storytelling with its individual stories. Incidents are seen from five different perspectives, each being people who are working towards self-interest with no care of any consequences to other people. One of the stories includes an overprotective dad, played by Swayze, who goes out to walk with his dog and stumbles across something that makes him jump to a conclusion about his daughter. The cleverness of the script requires the audience to piece together what they are watching in order to make sense, and this is one of the greatest qualities of the film. The connections between the events are not apparent at first, but are gradually revealed by a series of progressively receding flashbacks. Dad, have you seen my keys? No. 
Can I borrow your key to the Honda? Where are you going? Our number one pick is Point Break. Don't you see that's why I need Rosie? I could never do that, man. I could never hold a knife to Tyler's throat. She was my woman. We shared time. This 1991 American action crime film is directed by Catherine Bigelow. It delivers thrills and satisfies any action-loving audience. After a string of odd bank robberies in California by crooks who wear a unique type of mask, a federal agent soon discovers these robbers aren't your typical crooks. The leader of the bunch is a charismatic character named Bodie, played by Patrick Swayze. Keanu Reeves plays alongside Swayze as the undercover agent who is tasked with investigating the robbers. Critics praised the complex relationship between the characters that Reeves and Swayze portray after the film hit the screen. Interesting fact, the film's title refers to a surfing term called Point Break, which is where a wave breaks as it hits a point of land jutting out from the coastline. The film opened to a generally positive reception and grossed over $83.5 million. Since, it has gained a cult following and resulted in a remake that was released in 2015. The film is rated a 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb.com, won one MTV Movie Award, and was nominated for two others. To those dead souls inching along the freeways in their metal coffins, we show them that the human spirit is still alive. Do you agree with our list? Be sure to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.